Good afternoon. This is Jonathan Satofsky of Satofsky Asset Management. September 5th, 2019 with a video blog update. And today I wanted to get us back out of the short term, looking out onto the horizon. So in my inbox this morning, I see investors pull another $1.2 billion from UK equity funds as Brexit continues to bite. So headlines have clearly got people's attention. Uh, according to a report from Vanguard, the 12 month inflows into money market funds have been $400 billion. Um, one of the strongest inflows in uh, memory in people's desire for safety. And every bit of data continues to prove that out. In fact, investors have been on the most pessimistic side in terms of their decision making with their capital allocation decisions. And of course, if you read the headlines, it's no wonder. And it has led to continued sentiment of close to 70% of people being pessimistic and or negative or neutral about the future. So let's roll back again to the evidence and get people out of the short term and get back to the evidence because in terms of the probability of people's success, we wanna stack the odds in your favor for a lifetime of abundance. So when we look at the probability of success, owning assets, owning equities over a long period of time, 70% of the time, they will outperform the safe assets. Of course, it comes with a yo-yo effect. If you look at the graph behind me, there's been double digit returns over the last you know, 70, 80, 100 years, but it comes with a lot of zigging and zagging, which gets people, makes it more difficult to, for people to see the horizon. But over a five or 10 year period, the odds are materially in favor of equity owners. And um, of course, you know, we go through further evidence that value uh, historically has done a little better than growth and small has done better than large and profitability has done better than less profitable companies. That's the US. Here's a quick glance outside of the US. This works in developed markets and it has worked in emerging markets as well. So it's fascinating that the headlines cause people to react in the short term and it's no wonder because the recency bias, just looking at, um, you know, uh, barons, you can see the visual of the markets the last year. It's been a tumultuous year. Oh my God, everything's great. Oh my gosh, everything's terrible. Everything's great, everything's terrible. Everything's great, everything's terrible. So this last year or two has left people feeling like they may not be making progress, but just think about it as planting seeds for the future, planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds. So with that, I want to remind people that the benefit of the desire for safety is it has driven rates down extraordinarily low, negative yields in foreign countries and likely to be very low yields, if not negative yields potentially in the future in the United States. And what does that mean for long term thinkers? Well, if I can borrow money at a very, very low cost to buy a home, start a business, take risk, um, use unique talents, skills, and abilities to be able to come up with a new innovation, it leads to tremendous progress that people can't even imagine. So it takes a tremendous amount of imagination and utter confidence that the future is always gonna be better than the present. So have a great week and a great start to the school season.